latest in breaking news. This is News 8 at 11. The call for tougher laws on sex offenders, how some want to change the GPS monitors that track them. The murder of 17-year-old Chelsea King, allegedly by a registered sex offender, has generated calls for tougher laws dealing with convicted criminals. One change mentioned is real-time GPS monitoring for sex offenders. Now a company called GPS Monitoring Solutions says it's come up with a device. News 8's Jeff Sevely is live this morning in Del Mar to show us how it works. Jeff. Michelle, two days ago in Poway, there was a heated meeting between state lawmakers and officials with the Corrections Department. They were talking about GPS tracking of sex offenders. Now, at that meeting, one of the discrepancies Assemblyman Nathan Fletcher talked about was a parolee is prohibited from living near a park, and yet there's nothing from stopping that sexual offender from sitting in a park with children 24 hours a day. So we are with Petra Furman from GPS Monitoring Solutions, and you're going to show us the Tracker Pal. And what's interesting about the Tracker Pal is that it is pre programmed. If a sexual offender out on parole were to come near a park or a school, what happens? We can sound an alert, an alarm, literally like a siren. A siren goes off. And what yes. do you think a sexual offender would do if a siren went off in a park? My belief would be rather than advancing towards a child, he would turn around and leave as fast as he could. Okay, we've never done this before on live TV, but Petra is going to go to her car, which is about 20 yards away. She's going to get another one of these tracker pals and bring it into the park. So why don't you go off and get the tracker pal? And while Petra does that, we're going to talk to Bonnie Russell. And Bonnie is from FamilyLawCourts.com. Why do you think the state needs to switch the way it takes care of monitoring sexual offenders out on parole. Because the state is not really monitoring. They're using the word monitoring, but they're actually just checking periodically. What, what everyone needs, everybody matters, is to be safe. And how you can only be safe is with 24-7 monitoring, not the occasional check at the end of the day. Now, it's really complicated, and for our viewers, we should keep you up to speed here. A parole officer currently will check his email and check these alerts once a day. This new system will check every five minutes, and you say that's important. That's very important. Okay. Petra is now back in the park, so come on up, Petra, and show us what you have here. This is a device. This is the Tracker Pal, and now she has walked from her car into the park, and you assure me that this is going to work. This alarm is going to go off within 60 seconds. Within 60 seconds. Okay. Absolutely. And for the people at home, you have a service center in Utah. Here it goes. Okay, so a sir, this, the alarm's going off, and you have a service center in Utah, and, and they know now that that alarm is going off in this park in Del Mar. Absolutely. So I guarantee within another moment, my phone will ring calling the assigned officer to let me know there's been an exclusion violation. All right. Well, thank you, Petra, for the live demonstration. Thank you so much. And Phil and Michelle, we have a lot more coming up on this story tonight at 5 o'clock. Until then, we'll toss it back to you. Well, Jeff, you know, based on that show and tell right there, it really seems like a good idea and that it would work. But here's the big question. How much does something like this cost compared to what the state already has in place? Well, there, there's good news yet again. The state at the meeting the other day told us that they're currently spending between $17 and $23 a day for the system that only checks in with the offenders once a day. That system right there, they check in every five minutes, and Petra says her company can do it for $12. Interesting. Well, we'll see what happens. Jeff Sevely reporting live from Del Mar. Jeff, thanks.